in this short video i'm going to teach you how to convert your books to kpf which is the kindle format before you upload them to amazon kdp but i need you to understand that this is only possible for people that have a laptop if you don't have a laptop you can just upload the microsoft word file but if you have a laptop converting your book to kindle which is kpf format is the best and to do that you need a software called kindle create this kindle create is provided by amazon all you need to do is to download it to your laptop and start using it so in this video i'm going to show you how to use it if you are a newbie i want to recommend the best video for you to watch to get you started with amazon kdp and this is the video this one that says full course become a kdp expert for you to successfully make money on amazon you need to understand some basic things and everything you need to understand has been explained inside this video so take your time to watch this video i'm going to leave the link in the description down below or you can just search for it on my channel i'm going to leave the link so you watch it watch it and after watching it you can now come and watch how to convert it. but even if you don't have a laptop it is still good that you watch this video to understand how to convert to kpf format if you watch this video you will see where i explained everything about books and the type of books you can upload on kdp there is kindle there is paperback and there is hardcover there is even audiobook but the ones we are going to be focusing on are kindle paperback and hardcover audiobook have a lot of specifications and recommendations by amazon such that in africa we don't meet those recommendations the type of voice you use you cannot use ai generated voice and the voice has to sound like their voice i mean the whites so we don't really meet except you want to outsource it to somebody that speaks like them so that's why we're leaving that out for now let's just focus on kindle paperback and hardcover so why i'm recommending this video is because if you watch this video you are going to understand what kindle means kindle is ebook but on amazon we call it kindle because there's a special device created by amazon for it the device is just like a tablet and then people would buy a book on amazon the ebook you buy on amazon that is what you are going to use in reading the ebook so the the, the device is specifically made for ebook reading of ebook so it is called a kindle device that's why we call the books that they use it to read kindle but if you want to upload it the format you use in uploading it is called kpf kpf format i'm going to show you very soon this kpf format is the only recognized format that the system understands no sorry it's not the only recognized it's one of the recognized formats that the system understands but to me it is the best because it will never scatter but if you don't have a laptop like i said earlier you can upload the microsoft word format immediately you finish creating your book with microsoft word as you save it you would then need to upload it on amazon when you are uploading your kindle but if you are uploading paperback you cannot upload the microsoft word format it has to be pdf format which means that after writing your book you have to convert it to pdf if you want to upload it as paperback and hardcover too if you want to upload the kindle you can upload the microsoft word format but if you want to upload paperback and hardcover you have to convert it to pdf but if you want to upload kindle and you have a laptop i strongly recommend that you upload the kpf format so what i want to teach you in this video now is how to convert your already written book into the kpf format so it will be easy to upload and it is not going to scatter the first thing you need to understand before uploading a kindle book is that your kindle does not need to have page number you see all these page numbers it's not composed your, your book does not need to have it if it is kindle this means that you are going to format your kindle separately and format your paperback or hardcover separately the paperback can have page numbers in short must have page numbers because it has to reflect in the table of contents the reader might just decide to go straight to page 50 but if your book does not have page number they will not easily navigate page 50 or match it with the table of contents but in the kindle which is the ebook you know that there are no pages to flip if the person wants to go to page 50 it is on a device like you are scrolling through your phone so it does not need to have a page all it needs to have is a link 
So a Kindle device uses location to select pages, while a paperback uses pages and flips. As you are flipping through the page, that's when you would attain or get to the, the page number that you are looking for. So in this case, whenever you are formatting your Kindle, you need to remove the page number. And in your table of contents too, you also need to remove the page number. If you don't know how to do this, let me know in the description down below. And I'm going to do another short video like this one showing you how to format Kindle separately and how to format paperback separately. It is not hard at all. It's very, very easy. It is the same book. You just need to do slight difference in the formatting process by removing the page number from the Kindle and removing the page numbers from the table of content when you are generating it. So if you don't know how to do this, just let me know in the comments down below and I'm going to do another short video for you. Remember, I always do my videos based on requests so that it will meet your interest. Now, the first thing you need to do if you want to start converting your books to KPF format to be uploaded as Kindle on the Amazon platform is that you need to have a software on your laptop called the Kindle Create. So you go to your Google Chrome and search Kindle Create Download. Once you hit enter Kindle Create Download, you will see that all the links that will load are all from Amazon.com. Like I said, it is Amazon that owns the software. You see the second one that says getting started with kindle creates open that in another tab as you can see this is the page just scroll down a little you will see download kindle creates this is for mac and this is for windows you can see that it does not have any version for phone so you have to have a laptop for you to be able to use this software all you need to do is to download it I already have it on my PC, but let me just click on download so you'll see how the process goes. Or let me go and uninstall it so we'll install it in this video. I have successfully uninstalled the one I have on my system. So let's just click download and you'll see that it's automatically downloading. As you can see, this is it. It is already downloading. Let's just wait for it to download. Now, Kindle Create has successfully been downloaded to our system. As you can see, Kindle Create Installer. All you need to do is to click it. Once you click it, you want to start installing it. You know it's a software. So once you download the software, you have to install it. And then this pop-up will show. Just click I agree. Then you click install. As you can see, it's already installing in percentage. So you have to wait for it to finish. Let me pause this video. And when it's done, I'll resume the video. now it has finished installing and as you can see just click finish now we have kindle create on our desktop the next thing now is how to use this software to convert our books to kpf please note that before you convert any book to kpf you first need to convert it to pdf if you finish writing on microsoft word you will first save it as pdf it is the PDF format that you will now convert to KPF. I hope that is clear. Let's quickly do that. For the purpose of this video, we are going to be using this book that I created and said I was going to show you how to format. So let's just use this particular book to do this experiment. The first thing you need to do is to launch your Kindle Create software. You go to your desktop. This is the software. You just double click it and it will open like this. Next thing you want to do is to create new. You click on create new. Then you click choose. After clicking choose, it will bring you to this page. The next thing you want to click is print replica. As you can see, print replica. You click it and then you click continue. After doing this, it will ask you for your book title, author name and publisher. This is optional. You don't have to put it. Just click choose file. Once you click choose file, it will tell you to select the file that you want to convert to KPF. So you just locate the folder where you save the file and double click it so this is the book we want to convert dash diet cookbook for seniors over 40. we already converted it to pdf so i'll just click it and click open or i can just double click it it will load like this and you have this on the kindle create interface very simple and straightforward you can preview it to see exactly how buyers will be seeing it on their device Let's quickly do that. You just click on preview. You see this preview in the middle here? You click preview and it will load like this. This is exactly how buyers will be seeing the book on their device when they buy it. You can just click on this arrow to check the next page. As you can see, 
like this like this like this is how it's going to be displaying when they are reading the book everything is looking good this is exactly how it's going to appear on their device after previewing like this and you see that everything is fine you will need to make the links clickable as you can see the table of content like i told you is supposed to be a link this is it is not a link as you're looking at it like this so you need to make the link clickable because the pages don't have numbers it is through this link that buyers can locate whatever page they want to read you go to edit and then you click preserve links once you click on preserve links it will load like this and then you see that the links are now clickable you can see that it now has lines under them that shows that the links are now clickable you will now click on save it will now ask you where do you want to save it you just select the folder that you want to save it and then click save then you now click export you save again make sure you save and export it into the same folder so you click save again and you have finally converted your pdf to kpf let's go and check the folder as you can see this is the kpf format you see kindle creates if you move your cursor and put it on top of that brown icon you see it it will write kindle creates to show you that it has converted your book from pdf to kpf so when you're uploading your book on amazon this is the one you're going to upload for kindle and it's going to be perfect you're not going to have any issues with amazon i hope this is clear if you watch this video till this stage i want to say congratulations because you've just learned something new that is really going to help you in your amazon kdp journey and to show appreciation you can just like the video and if you've not subscribed subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon so that the next time i post awesome videos like this youtube is going to send you instant notifications and liking the video you're going to help the video perform better because the youtube algorithm will see the video like a valuable content and show it to more people that will be interested in learning how to convert books to kpf format for smooth upload onto the amazon platform if you have any video that you want me to do for you please request for it in the comment section down below and once i see it and i have a lot of requests for it i'm going to create the detailed video for you thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one